we're going to replace the stock Intel cooler with an Arctic Cooling Freezer 7 Pro Rev2. We have already removed the stock Intel cooler and cleaned the thermal compound off of the CPU as shown in Lesson 2. To unbox the Freezer 7 Pro, you need to turn it so you can see the specs on the back. There are three plastic fasteners, two on either side and one at the bottom. Once those are loose, you can separate the front from the back and slide the cooler out. Lift the cooler up and set it on its back to protect the pre-applied thermal compound. There is an Intel bag with push pins and screws, which we will be using. The AMD bag has two metal pieces and screws used for installing the cooler onto an AMD CPU. We won't be needing those, so I'll set them aside. The cooler comes with an Intel mounting plate. On each corner of the plate, there are three holes for push pins to go through the mounting plate and through holes in the motherboard. The holes closest to the center of the plate are used for installation onto a socket 775 motherboard. The middle holes are for socket 1156 motherboards, and the outer holes are for socket 1366 motherboards. We have a socket 1366 motherboard, so we will use the outer holes. I'll set the mounting plate onto the motherboard, so the outer holes are above the holes in the motherboard, and the screw holes on the mounting plate are facing the front and back of the computer. The push pins are in sets of two. The white, shorter one with the arrowhead looking tip goes through the mounting plate and motherboard. The other black push pin goes through the first and wedges the arrowhead outward to secure the mounting plate to the motherboard. The push pins are very small, so to make it easier, I will use needle nose pliers to insert them. The white, arrowhead shaped one first into the outer hole. Once it's partially in, I'll let go of it and use the pliers to push it down. I'll insert another white arrowhead shaped push pin into the opposite corner of the plate the same way, and then into the two remaining corners. Next, I'll get a grip on the head of the black spreader pin with my pliers and push it straight through the white arrowhead shaped pin. I'll do the same at the opposite corner from the first, and then the final two. The mounting plate is now secured to the motherboard. On the heatsink, the fan is covering up a screw hole we need to get to. The plastic fan is held to the cooler on each side using a notch in the metal cooler. I'll reach through the fan's shroud and press outward to remove the fan from the cooler. Next, I'll lower the heatsink onto the CPU and mounting plate, making sure the direction of airflow from the cooler's fan is directed towards the rear exhaust fan. On one side of the cooler, Use your Phillips or plus screwdriver to pass the mounting screw through the hole in the cooler into the screw hole on the mounting plate. Get it started in the hole, but do not tighten it. On the other side of the cooler, do the same. And snug down the screw. Then go back to the other side and snug it down. Neither screw will tighten completely. You just want to feel some resistance. Next, I'll reattach the fan to the heatsink. And then insert the fan's power cable into the CPU fan header on the motherboard. That's it. The Freezer 7 Pro Rev2 is installed.